Sitting in Kool Aid, drinking Kool Aid, talking about Kool Aid facts. It's more of like a introducing to a podcast or something. Not really, but we stooped low. So, so guys, what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk about Kool Aid fact. Every pouch. Cheers. Fact, fact. number one. Kool Aid was born in Hastings, Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> it was by Edwin Perkins. The man behind Kool-Aid was originally a mail order merchant of all sorts of products. He would deliver lots of products like medicine, cleaning supplies, foods, really anything. After striking out on his own in 1920, the Perkins Product Company in Hastings, Nebraska started offering fruity soft drinks that would leave one customer's over. Pouch one. Mm. Okay, good throw. So, he was a mailman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a mailman? <laughs> a mailman. <laughs> yeah, he wanted a fruity uh, soft drink. <laughs> so he came with Kool Aid. <laughs> Not too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Not too special. And, he, um, and he, it was originated right. in Kansas, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nebraska. 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 Would y'all rather take a bath of Kool Aid every night for the rest of your life or let the Kool Aid man have his way with you? Just one time. I'm going bath every night. <laughs> There's no way. Because <laughs> all, all I'm thinking of right now is, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. Is the bath like fully submerged? Like it's a full. I would turn red. Yeah, so you, I would, you would be turn red, red, red for the rest of my life. Oh yeah. You can't get this off for about two days. You oh, are yeah. the Kool Aid Man, or you get done by the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> I don't want to take a bath for the rest of my life. So you're gonna let the Kool Aid Man have his way with you? Please don't do it. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. This is, this is a hard one. Hey guys, comment down below which one you would rather do. But I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna let the Kool Aid Man have his way with me. I feel like you need therapy if that happens. Yeah, bro. but honestly, like I don't want to take it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fact. Number two is, it wasn't always a powder. Kool-Aid is famous for its inexpensive envelopes of powdered drink mix, but it wasn't always a solid. When Perkins began selling fruity soft drinks in the 1920s, his product was a liquid concentrate that came packaged in four ounce bottles. Perkins would ship the small bottles to customers who could mix up a pitcher of soft drink by adding sugar and water. Mm. It's starting to get terrible. Mm. Oh man, y'all are really good at that. It's water. I know. Dude, it's fruity water. Why are y'all so good at like sucking it? <laughs> like, I can't drink it that fast. You remember the first time you had Kool Aid? I'm pretty sure it was in a pitcher, and my mom like didn't put enough sugar in it, so it was that sour taste. Because mm. it was the old school mix. Yeah. So I kind of didn't like it for a long time. You mm -hmm. just thought so, it was some weird sour. Right. I was like. That's yeah. gross. I hate Kool-Aid. Yeah. yeah. You gotta so, have a lot of sugar. And then I went to Drew's house and they had it. No, I'm not <laughs> even, I'm not even kidding. I went to Andrew's house. He had some in this fridge and I had it. It was great. I remember it completely. <laughs> I'm, I, dude, I swear. In his house and I was like, this is Kool-Aid? What am I been missing on? <laughs> that was your uh, first good experience with Kool-Aid? Yeah. My first time drinking Kool-Aid. It was a hot summer day. I was very dehydrated. I came home. My mom was like, hey, look, look at this. It was, <laughs> it was, it was the little plastic ones, the one you little rip off the top and it's like a waxy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so and I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then I uh, I drank it. It was like, oh, this is really cool. And mm -hmm. I like chewing on the little little wax part at the end. That was nice. Probably 4th of July party. So I like, had an ice chest. I think it was red too. <laughs> I opened it, had ice. <laughs> Fun fact. And then it was one of those twisty ones too, which I've always had trouble opening them. I don't mm. know if y'all have that too, but when you try to twist the top and you twist it wrong once, like you yep. can't get this bottle open. Yep. So I ended up having to bite it off on top and mm. then just drink it. But it was good. Finish up. Wait. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Is it starting to taste really like tartar in your mouth? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah dude, I'm starting to get nauseous. This is too <laughs> much sugar. Fact. Oh, hold on. Fact. <laughs> Drinkers love Perkins concoction. 
but it was far from the perfect melt order product. The syrup, which you sold in lemon, raspberry, orange, root beer, cherry. Ooh, root beer. Root beer. That sounds good. Great varieties. Had to be mailed in heavy glass bottles, which led to hefty expenses for postage and were prone to shattering and transit. Ever the inventive chemist, Perkins took a cue from the success of Jell-O and banded the liquid in favor of a lightweight, easy shipped powder form of the drink. He started marketing the new powder in 1927. Not, oh, gosh. We gotta finish no, it. No, I'm really getting sick and tired. So what am I? Oh, I'm getting nauseous. We do it for y'all. We're, we're probably gonna get diabetes. This is so much sugar. Diabetes. Yeah, it is. Now, would you rather drink Kool-Aid this for the rest of your life, or oh yeah, is your catchphrase? You Ooh, have to anytime say. Anytime you're happy. Anytime. Oh, yeah. Anytime you do something good. Anytime oh, yeah. something happens oh, yeah. to you. No, you have to say it like oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or like drink that. this with yeah. the- I already gotta do that. Oh, check out it now. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. I might start doing that now. <laughs> you said do. or you had to drink Kool-Aid for the rest of your life? This Kool-Aid for the rest of your life. Anytime you go out to a restaurant, you have to have this with you. Every time you get thirsty, this is the only thing in your fridge. I mean, there's no water on okay. earth oh, anymore. Yeah, are yeah, you gonna say oh yeah? Yeah, yeah definitely go with the oh yeah. Yeah. Would it be a lot if we just put it up? Well, that's cold. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Dang. Dude, oh, dude, stop, 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 dude. Stop, stop. Why'd you do that? Because it's cold. I want to see how cold it was. Like, this is. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to get that. Stop, 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 stop dude. <laughs> dude. Start a war. <laughs> started selling his syrup, he didn't settle on the Kool-Aid moniker yet. Instead, he was using the less marketable Fruit Smack. After he created the powdered formula, he began packaging the drink in envelopes, and he switched to Kool-Aid. This uh, spelling didn't stick. Theories for its dismissal included blah, blah, blah. It was 1934. What happened? <laughs> hey, stop, 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 dude, stop. It's cold, oh though. no. Dude, stop, stop. Stop, stop, dude. Smoke, smoke, smoke. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh. So the Kool Aid Man got really big in 1975. In the 1950s, this guy came up with a pitch. He was like, hey, so we should come up with the Kool Aid Man. Around 1975, it, it got really famous and kids started getting all pumped up about it. Did you drink yours? Yeah. No, you spewed yours out. Yeah, I did. Whoa! 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 Dude, stop, stop! I didn't do that on purpose! Bro. Dude, stop, stop, stop! I'm serious! <laughs> bro, stop, stop! I wasn't doing it! Bro, you have a new video! Dude, stop, 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 bro! <laughs> stop! <laughs> I'm cool! It looks like it! <laughs> uh, bro, this looks so bad! Now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the worst Kool Aid experience? I feel like it's easy. I feel like what? What? <laughs> it's easy to have too much Kool Aid because it, I mean, if you drink a lot, you just kind of feel like crap. Finish this quick. No, no. Video game in the 70s and early 80s, 
It was called uh, Kool Aid Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what it was called. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look like it was that much fun. Nope. That's probably why it's still not around. Dude, he used to have his own comic book too. Oh, I remember that. Uh, I saw it in the back of packages once. How'd you do that? Oh, you bought little holes and you. <laughs> <laughs> stuff about Kool-Aid. Learn their facts and God, don't drink this much Kool-Aid ever in your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like because we sat in a pool of Kool-Aid for you guys and sprayed Kool-Aid all over the place. If you guys want to subscribe and see more videos from us, click right here. If you want to check out our last video, click over here. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>